Hello guys and welcome to another batch cooking video today you guys I am so excited because we have some new recipes and and that's all that's all <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm excited so we are going to cook um um in this new month we will have I have to check my notes oven roasted chicken with herbs and potatoes how does nice that sounds very nice huh and then we have beef stew with leeks the one we had uh, in the previous uh, batch cooking video that was it was a hit in our house you guys and then uh, for our vegetarian dishes today we are going costarian so we'll have beans in coconut milk also the red lentils we'll also cook them in coconut milk mm, we're making okra you guys for the first time so remember i told you i want to try new dishes yes i want to make some okra in, in tomatoes and then we'll have dengu and then we will roast some vegetables, yeah, sheet pan vegetables in the oven. I'm looking forward to that. And lastly, although it's lastly on my list, but it's the first thing I will do is I will show you how to make an amazing beef stock so that we can stop cooking with water. Yes, we all know the memes, <laughs> the mountain people, the horse pipe and the mutungis. So we want to change that narrative. So yes, we'll start by making the beef stock and then we'll make all those other amazing dishes it's going to be an amazing day of batch cooking you guys i'm feeling very optimistic i'm actually starting at 10 o'clock today so there is hope of finishing before the sun goes down <laughs> there is hope let's wait and see if you like this kind of content remember to hit the subscribe button and now let's cook so guys i want to show you the ingredients i'm working with today and then we'll go straight into the cooking so come along i show you so guys these are the ingredients that i'm going to be working with today i remember in my previous batch cooking video i said the way i am looking for a blender to make my own coconut milk i haven't bought one yet in the meantime i decided to buy this so i've lost and lots of these cans because i'm making lots and lots of food as you know and then we have tomato paste here i bought me some uh, oregano and then uh, what is this black pepper we have my cooking oil also as far as spices are concerned i bought some turmeric and paprika i forgot to add more paprika but that will have to do here i have my green grams uh, someone was telling me they're not called dengu <laughs> they say, she said they're called what choroko i'm like huh what are those so basically <laughs> let's call them dengu for today and then I have my red lentils. I haven't boiled them as you can see hey, today. Yes, but they boil, they cook pretty fast. Then I have curry powder. I have my roiko here. Uh, what is this? I have some bay leaves. And the, 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 I have some garam masala, which is great. I have some margarine there. Uh, this is garlic powder, onion powder. This is a spice mix, I believe. That's my salt. Now here... Here's what I want to show you guys. I have my beef, my, my beef already chopped up. We went to the slaughterhouse like two days ago. So it's from the freezer. It is thawing nicely. And I have some minced beef. This time we found someone to mince for us at the slaughterhouse as well. We're going to put our contact to the slaughterhouse in the description box or in the pinned comment. Uh, yes, so I forgot to say that we'll be making some meatballs. Yeah, I didn't say that. And then here I have my mountain of vegetables. I went to the market, this time I went to the market like uh, two days ago. So I didn't go the same day of batch cooking. So that's why, I, as I said, I'm feeling like I'm ahead of the game. But <laughs> time will tell. So yeah, here's a lot of stuff that I just need to start chopping up. I already have one person helping me, our day bag. Our regular help uh, went on leave for a few days. So ah, today I'm one man short, but it's okay. Here I have my bones for making the beef stock. Actually, I was going to buy bones, but then I realized the meat that we buy at the slaughterhouse comes with a lot of bones. So I just removed it, removed the bones from the meat. So these are also from the freezer, you guys. They look really healthy. They have quite a substantial amount of meat on them. So I have, I have high hopes for our beef stock today. And then here are my tomatoes. Uh, my okra and my french beans and my broccoli are in the fridge because as i said we went to the market like a day ago so those ones are there just chilling and waiting to be cooked yums and here i have what do i have here 
this is this my celery and my leeks yes guys they've been here for two days okay a day and a half so i need to cook them very soon i have my cabbage my rosemary and other things that i bought from the market so guys i'm ready let's do this it's gonna be a great day but first i need to make fruits for my children because it is time for fruits yes i got two bananas i have some tangerines uh -huh. i have a dragon fruit you guys don't even ask me where i got it from i cannot disclose that so my kids have really been wanting to taste a dragon fruit so i got one and 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 here i have a pineapple that i chopped up a piece we ate some yesterday and then the rest we're going to eat today and boom once the kids are happily snacking on their fruit i'll start my batch cooking it's gonna be awesome So the first thing I want to do is I want to start boiling my beef stock. Um, beef stock is basically you just get bones. If you can get if you can get bones with a bit of meat, even better. And we are going to boil it with water. Of course, we're going to boil it with water. I don't know what else we boil it with. And it's nice if your bones have marrow. You see, like this one has some nice marrow so the the beef stock is going to be really tasty and we're going to put some herbs and aromatics now i didn't find i didn't find lemongrass in the i didn't find lemongrass in the market and my lemongrass which i tried to grow just went and it died on me guys it just died on me so uh yeah i'm just going to use rosemary but if you have lemongrass any herbs that you like basically you can just add in your beef stock and then oh today my house is noisy you guys and then we are going to boil it with water for a good long time a good good long time and the good thing is you can use these bones enough times like the ones i used last time I had I had, bo I had boiled them. I had made stock with them about three or four times, because there's always that goodness that's still in the bones. Just boil them a good long time. And if you have time, you can first of all roast your bones in the oven, because it gives them a nice flavor. And then you come and boil them. But what I do not have is time. So here I am, just boiling them uh, this way. Go straight into my lovely stock pot. I'll put a little bit of salt, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm going to boil it for an hour, an hour and a half. If I had time, I'd boil it for even longer. And then I will remove that stock and add more water and boil again. Because I probably need like two pots of stock. So let me add some boiling water and then we take it straight to the fire this is something i'd have started i should have started doing early in the morning like the minute i woke up but i wanted to show you guys and then you know i don't have a house so i had to take care of the kids the breakfast the everything so anyway it will get better so i'm just going to keep boiling water and filling this and then i'll put it on the fire and let it just just simmer for for an hour an hour and a half two hours by the time i finish chopping up all my vegetables they will have uh, i'll have two pots two pots of, of stock thank you darling you finished good job all right let's go to the fire i also decided on a whim 
to add some ginger just for just for taste Yes, this beef we bought it from the slaughterhouse. Please watch that video. We do buy our meat at the slaughterhouse. So we bought it uh, two days ago and then we put it in the freezer. They were kind enough to cut it up for me, but they didn't cut it into small enough pieces. So I had to come and recut it, which was okay. It still went faster than if they had not cut it for me at all. You guys, this time the slaughterhouse was just awesome because we bought this beef at 290 shillings per kilo. Please, please check out that video on how we buy our meat at the slaughterhouse, you guys. When I'm cooking the beef stock, I find it's nice to scoop up the foam that comes up from at the top. You don't have to, but I just find it tastes better and even looks better. Now it's time for the guys to have a bit of lunch. They are having Gideri. Remember that Gideri that was calling my name and my Huduma number? Well, we, have, we had a bit of it left over. I've mixed it also with some dengu because we are clearing out the freezer to make room for more. Ideally, I'd be serving this with some greens on the side, like cabbage. But you guys, it ran out and I don't have time to make cabbage. So, I'll make cabbage for dinner. But for now, let's just have the gideri. Besides, it's chock full of vegetables, as we all know. If you watched me make it last time. So, that's okay. So, together with the gideri, they'll also have avocado so as you guys watch gideri without avocado my goodness look at that ah, it looks so nice so it was getting a bit overripe Now it's time to chop up the rosemary so that I can put it in the beef. Mm -hmm. 
So my beef stock has been boiling for about two hours now and I feel it's ready. I keep skimming off the foam but you don't really have to, it's up to you. So what I want to do is I want to remove this, add some more boiling water and then boil another pot. I think two pots of this will be enough. Again, if I had time, I would have boiled it a bit longer. Uh, yes, and now as I speak, I remember that I have bay leaves, which I should have added here. But anyway, the next batch, I guess, will have bay leaves. So let me empty this, add more water, and then we boil another pot. to keep emptying my large cooking pots uh, because I have to keep reusing them one of these days I will go buy bigger ones yes till then <laughs> I reuse them okay guys time for a vibe check first of all a girl needs coffee to keep going <laughs> It is almost 3 o'clock and I feel today, you guys, I'm so optimistic. I feel like, you know, things are going the way they should. So now let me show you what we've done so far. Um, we've chopped up the courgettes. We've chopped up the green pepper. My meat is already cooked in its own juices. By, by meat, I mean beef. And it's just waiting to be stewed, okay? These are the onions they have been chopped up. Uh, the beans are boiled. Today I only have one hill of beans, not two. Yet to chop up the tomatoes. Uh, these are lentils. We've boiled them. They're ready. Here I have my two containers of dengue. These ones are ready as well. And the peas. Okay. And I already have one pot of stock ready. I'm just boiling the second one. So now I want to focus on chopping up my, the celery and the leeks and the tomatoes. I'm hoping to be done with that in about half an hour and then I start the main part of the cooking so that once I'm done making the four stews, hmm, four, um, yeah, then I'll work on the roasting the vegetables in the oven and the meatballs and later the chicken. So yay, I'm excited. It's going very, very well. If you're liking this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We love new people over here. Yes. Today I'm feeling very nice about my sink, you guys. I have been consistently keeping it clear. In fact, it was very clean until I decided to make myself some coffee and then we these dishes came up. But I am very particular about making sure I clean as I go because, as I said, I don't have my usual house help. And I have time. That's the best thing about starting to batch cook early and not going to the market the same day because I have time to just clean as I go. This is, oh, you guys, I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, so, okay, let's continue. Guys, you won't even believe how late I am running 
Remember the person who said they were going to finish by, oh, oh, I don't know what time. Well, that person is clearly not me. Because let me tell you, I need to get something to poke a hole here. Let me tell you guys, first of all, <laughs> hey, I had to stop cooking so that I can go and edit tomorrow's video because uh, my editor came. I'll put his link in the comment section. Oh, in the description or in the pinned comment if you're interested. So now I had to stop and go and edit tomorrow's video because you guys, yes, tomorrow's video is is awesome. And then no sooner had I stopped than my day bag said it's time for her to leave because it was five o'clock. So now I was by myself. I was all alone. Okay. And then I realized, oh my gosh, it's almost six and we have dinner at six. My children will be going hungry. I haven't cooked, you guys, nothing. Hey, so now I'm here running around like a mad woman. Uh, I'd already, I had said, gosh, my camera. I had said that I was going to roast some sweet potatoes in the oven with my vegetables so that now we can have with the beef stew it's always the beef stew on the day of batch cooking because it's almost always the first one to get ready but now i ran late i haven't done any of that so i chopped up some cabbage quickly quickly which i am steaming here i think it's almost ready even and then I've peeled some potatoes, which I want to do a quick mash potatoes for them. For us, for dinner, basically. Why am I burning my fingers? Who knows? And then, yeah, once the kids are fed, oh, these are ready even. Then I can continue with the other batch cooking. You guys, remember the optimistic person who was like, oh, I'll be done by sundown. Gosh, it's 6 o'clock. Is it? Ha! It's 6.30! Oh, my goodness. All right. It is well. All is well that ends well. Okay. These are done for sure. Just steamed the cabbage with some carrots and I put some ghee or butter and some salt it's really nice and yummy Mashed potatoes are ready for mashing and I like to add ghee or butter to my mashed potatoes and some coriander or dania and this is frozen dania from our freezer and also I like to put a little bit of milk so that it's not so hard I like our mashed potatoes to be soft and the milk really gives it a creamy, creamy, creamy taste.
beef is ready, looking delicious. Time to serve the guys now. Wow, look at that. So now it's time for me to start the the first going part of the batch cooking. Someone gave me this lovely idea. One of my lovely, you guys give me such fantastic ideas of using ghee uh, instead of margarine in my beans. I use ghee in my chapatis. I don't know why I hadn't thought of using ghee in my, in my beans. You guys, thank you for all the wonderful ideas you give me. As my onions are cooking, I just want to be emptying my coconut milk into this container. I just feel it will be faster to use it once it's in one place. I'm going to put coconut milk in the beans and in the lentils. And then I'll put, I'll save one can for the okra stew. I think it will be really nice with coconut milk all right so that's fantastic let me check on the onions Guys, I really hope you're going to try and make the beef stock because it makes such a big difference to the food. I mean, like, I can't tell you how different it is when you use water and when you use stock. Just try it and let me know in the comment section below how it went for you. And if you're liking this content, please remember to give us a, a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so because it really helps to grow the channel. And there's so much to learn on this channel, you guys. Amazing, amazing stuff. So you guys, this is my first time ever, ever, ever since I was born to cook okra. I have eaten okra before and I love it, love it, love it, but I've never known how to cook it. And guess where I found this recipe? Look at this book. Ta-da! 
Do you guys remember this lady? Like we grew up watching her cooking. Oh my gosh. Okay, the story behind this book is uh, my sister-in-law bought it for my husband back when he was single. I think she just noticed this guy is stabbing. So she bought him this book. I've had it for, for a long time. Well, since we got married anyway, 10 years. And uh, I've used some of the recipes, but it's been a while since I went through it. So now, the other day I was just going through it and I saw an okra recipe and I was like, oh my gosh, I should so try this. So you guys, please, I will be doing a few recipes from this book because this lady, oh my gosh, like back in the day, we grew up watching her every Sunday afternoon on TV, KBC, remember? Oh, I love it. So yeah, that's why this that's where this recipe came from. I hope it turns out good, you guys. I'm really excited about this. So you guys, my beans in coconut is ready. So now, I am ready to make the dengu and the okra, okay? I had to wait for this pot because you guys, as I, as I told you, uh, I also don't want to be holding my breath and I'm stirring this food, so yeah. This time I'm just doing two dishes at a time. Remember, I'm following, uh, what's her name? Alistabu's, uh, Alistabu's, what do you call it? Alistabu's recipe for okra. Uh, yeah, so, don't know whether you can see that. Okra with tomatoes. So, basically, yeah, you're just gonna see how it goes. I will tweak it a little bit because you know guys, uh, recipes are nice and all but it's also nice sometimes to just, you know, change things up a little bit. For those who've never had okra, if you do decide to be adventurous like me and cook it, please know that okra has that, I don't know what you call this, it has sort of a mucusy stretch to it i don't know you guys i have a feeling i might end up eating all this okra by myself maybe me and my husband but my kids i don't know whether they will but no nah, that's what you can see but it is very tasty so if you wash it and you see this it's not spoiled please don't throw it in the dustbin that's just that's how okra is and you guys it's delicious we will have it with rice Then I put them in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. As they are cooking in the oven, time to make the meatball stew. Stew or soup? One of those two. <laughs> Next, it's time to work on the roast vegetables.
and this is something that it's my first time to do it but i really love the idea of roasting vegetables in the oven on my sheet pan and yes i'm excited about that <laughs> So after cleaning the french beans and cutting off the tips i just toss in in oil put a little bit of black pepper and salt and that's it toss them and put them on my lined baking tray then the sweet potatoes just peel cut into wedges and toss with salt and pepper and oil. Although I have a feeling I should have put the sweet potatoes in first. Bless you. I have a feeling I should have put the sweet potatoes in first before the rest of the vegetables because they take a bit long to cook, but I have faith that they'll cook well. And also put some paprika just for color. I'm already very excited about this dish. For the carrots, I'm just cutting them into nice thick pieces. And again, tossing them in salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. Wow, look at that. Toast them in the, well, roast them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until soft at between 180 and 200 degrees centigrade. My kids love raw carrots, especially my last one. Then, once I'm done with that, time to work on the halved roast potatoes and chicken, which is a dish I'm very excited about. And we skin our chicken. I don't like eating chicken with skin on. I want to boil the potatoes for five minutes just not till they're cooked through but just to soften them up before I put them together with the chicken then after five minutes I pour out the hot water and then pour some cold water to stop the cooking process and they will continue cooking once I bake them in the oven later on After that, I just put the potatoes into my baking foil, which were very hard to find, guys. If anyone knows where I can find them easily, please let me know. And then I put uh, large chunks of carrot, toss them in oil and, you know, black pepper and salt and some oregano and all spice. Toss them nicely together and then I do the same thing to my skinned chicken legs which we still buy from city market too guys and yes if you're interested I, I'll put the stall number right here for those guys and then line put the chicken on top of everything on top of the potatoes and carrots the chicken is well coated so it will just continue to marinate 
as it freezes. And then because I ran out of potatoes, this one I'm just going to put plain chicken. We can have this with ugali later on. I'd give it the same treatment. The herbs, the salt, the pepper, the tossing, and the freezing. So this will roast very well in the oven. Yes. The potatoes and carrots as well will roast very well in the oven. We'll remove them the night before from the freezer, thaw them in the fridge overnight, and then, yes, toss them into the... Huh? Huh? Put them in the fridge. What did I say? Yes. Yes, that one. And then, uh, bake them, as you will see. I like to read the instructions on the foil itself so that I don't forget because mom brain hashtag so this is my finished product those roast vegetables you guys cannot even begin to imagine how well they smell and everything else looking amazing thank you for watching please subscribe bye